This dog was chained here for ten years. The neighbors told us that they had phoned the Animal Welfare Agency many times for many years. They told us that their owners had been seen urinating onto her from the porch. She had no comforts, no blanket, no toys, not even a bone. Animal advocates first saw her at night lying in the frozen mud, being snowed and sleeted on, surrounded by her own excrement. When we got her, she was emaciated, dehydrated, and barely able to walk because of painful arthritic hips and because of the heavy clumps of matted mud and feces on her legs and tail. We got her by rescuing her the same way thousands of other people have rescued dogs. Her recovery started at our vet with freedom, fun, an exam and grooming. She was so happy to be somewhere anywhere new, being the center of attention. Animal advocates volunteers shaved off her heavy mats of wet hair and feces, some of the worst we have seen, and we've seen and helped a lot of neglected dogs. Now she can even wag her tail now that it isn't so heavy anymore. And the slippery floor doesn't hold her back. She's off to see what else is new. This is how thin she was everywhere. Now for a bath. She didn't love the soap and water, but she loved being touched and fussed over. This will be her first night in a warm, snug bed perhaps the first in her whole life. This is her homecoming party. Two amazing people, Mike and Alyssa, took one look at her, put their arms around her, and said, we're taking her home. Her owners had named her Judith. Mike and Alyssa called her Judith. A kind person donated a cart so her feet would not be scraped raw. She was a natural and went everywhere in that cart. Mike and Alyssa took her on many camping trips and to the cottage. She chased squirrels in the cart and even went into the lake. Ambleside was another favorite place where she could play without the cart and socialize with other dogs. She could have the kind of fun that had been denied to her for so long. At Ambleside, everyone wanted to know her story, and she was the center of attention always. Judith had 18 months of a real family and all the love and happiness she deserved, and the time before did not count at all. <laughs>